Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today I want to talk about Dungeons and Dragons, and I want to talk about Russell Brand, and I want to talk about my own channel. All right, so let's get into this. So first of all, uh, linked below, you will see Russell Brand on Bill Maher's show going against an MSNBC host, and basically he is highly debating um, this MSNBC host, and actually... Um, specifically, I'm going to link on link to Breaking Points. By the way, if you don't know about Breaking Points, uh, they are a brilliant uh, news channel that I trust, right? So, tr you know, uh, what institutions can you trust today, right? It's very difficult to trust. But I, I really trust uh, Sagar and Crystal, and, and I trust the news that's coming out of them. I, I trust that they are doing the best job they can to present the news uh, in a... Um, I don't even, I don't know if anybody's even attempting objective news anymore. So they have a slant, but the reality is I think they're willing to listen. They're highly intelligent and I don't think they have a dark agenda, right? Whereas a lot of news sources, I just can't say that. Like I, I think a lot of mainstream news sources have an incredibly dark agenda, but Breaking Points did this piece on Russell Brand going right at this MSNBC news host. And I just want you to look at Russell Brand's energy and how he utterly wrecks this guy. But he never he, he never insults the guy. He uh, and and one of the things I think is really fascinating. Uh, so I want to talk about what what he's doing. So what does Russell Brand do here? He um, please take a look at you know his content with it. And actually you know I'll link to right where his material starts in the Breaking Points video. And you can see how he's talking to this guy, right? He is intense and adamant, right? He doesn't swear at him. And he he is saying, hey, the thing we're talking about right now, um, you know, news and American um, flourishment, right? That that the American people are, are being... Um, are being treated well and fairly, right? And Russell Brand is just so passionate about it. And this has spread really far and wide because he utterly destroys this guy, right? But he does it in a very, in I think, a civil way, right? But you can also see Russell Brand has just this manic energy, right? And he's coming at this guy and he has this manic energy, right? But at the same time, he's able to control his thinking and he's able to get his point across. And I think a lot of people would read this and say, that's how, you, that's not how you should really behave in, you know, in discourse. But the other thing is, I really, really connect with Russell Brand. And I want you guys to understand, I'm going to say this right now. I get a lot of pushback on this channel. Uh, and people are like, you cannot possibly mean what you're saying. And the reason why I'm saying the things is, I fundamentally believe, I love Dungeons and Dragons so passionately but I believe that having a conversation about Dungeons and Dragons with people who are actively trying to uh, to end Dungeons and Dragons or really wishing upon Dungeons and Dragons' downfall, that's very difficult for me because I really get my fur up, right? And, and you could see Russell Brand is upset with this guy. And the reason why he's saying, he's saying, you part, you're part of the problem, man, and I care too deeply about this, right? And uh, and I care deeply about this, not too deeply. I care deeply about this, and also I don't even accept your structure, right? So what do I want? I I want something real. I want everyone in the world to understand that Dungeons and Dragons was never a game and is not a game at now. It is the most powerful secular human flourishment tool ever created and was created as such in 1974 by Gary Gygax. I want everybody to understand that, right? That means I'm coming from an angle that no one in the world is coming from, right? And so if my stuff looks really unusual to you, if it seems trollish, it's not. I'm never trying to come off as a troll. I'm never trying to um, uh, to trick anyone. You know, this is what, what you are seeing from Russell Brand here is what I'm trying to do. And I fail. I don't have the, um, the personality that Russell Brand has. Uh, I would say, um, one thing that I'm just super jealous of, uh, of him doing here is he is emotionally wrought, but still able to think and still able to communicate, right? And not in a respectful way, but in a civil way, 
right? Giving just as much respect as is deserved. And he's saying flat out to this MSNBC guy, you could tell he doesn't really, res he doesn't respect him. He's saying what you are engaged with, I fundamentally do disagree with. And I'll tell you right now, I fundamentally disagree with four hour Dungeons and Dragons. I fundamentally disagree with D&D nostalgia and wishing for the then rather than embracing the now, right? I fundamentally disagree with uh, R-O-L-L playing rather than R-O-L-E playing. And I fundamentally disagree with everything the OSR stands for um, except for 5% of their platform. And I think because 95% of what the OSR wants is harmful to the tabletop role-playing game industry and most importantly to Dungeons and Dragons, I really don't, you know, I, I just really have a lot of vexation when I deal with them. But here we see Russell Brand seamlessly, effortlessly, or actually not effortlessly, I think there's a lot of effort here, right? But very successfully being highly emotional and at the same time being, uh, delivering his thoughts in a very, continuing to be able to think and communicate and be successful in doing that. And so I just wanted to point to this because I, I think a lot of people don't really understand what I'm trying to do with this channel. And I get that because I'm, com I'm coming from such an unusual angle. And I really don't see Dungeons and Dragons the way anybody in the world sees Dungeons and Dragons. And honestly, I'm, I'm ready for the day when people stop viewing and stop watching and stop listening. Right? Like, you know, the, the Rhett and Link. Those guys are YouTube heroes, right? They've, they've been crushing it for 15 years on YouTube. And they always say, I'm ready for the day when people don't want to click on my face. I'm ready for that day, too. But we ain't reached it, right? Like, um, you know, as long as I have people in the comments who are bringing real discourse, and uh, I'm going to keep doing this. And I just wanted to thank you guys for allowing, you know, for every time, every video you've listened to, every comment you've, you've, uh, you've made that was made in a, a civil manner. And I also want to just tell you, this is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to be, I'm an emotional, intense, adamant guy, just like Russell Brand. And I'm trying to reach the day where I can remain intense and adamant and emotional and communicate, I'm this way because I care deeply about this subject. And I can have that intense, emotional adamacy at the same time I'm conveying my thoughts as effectively as Russell Brand. So thank you for taking a look at this. This is what I am, this is everything I'm attempting to do, right? And also, I know it sounds strange, like to have D&D &D goals and to have goals for D&D, &D, uh, you know, to have goals I want to accomplish in my life with D&D &D, and to have, um, you know, goals for D&D, &D, right? Because Kyle Brink just said it. Kyle Brink said flat out, right? D&D &D is my life, right? D&D &D is not my life, but it is a massive part of my identity. And it is incredibly important to me. And what Russell Brand accomplished and the way he communicated with this MSC, NBC host, that's what I'm trying to do. I just wanted you to know where I'm heading and what I've been trying to do. And this is a perfect example of it. So thank you, Russell Brand, for your passion and for your incredible uh, thoughts. And thank you guys for letting me share my thoughts on Dungeons & Dragons with you. And, and because I get people who say it all the time, I don't, I don't make a dollar on this channel. I never have. Um, I don't, you know, and I'm not doing this for clicks. I'm not doing this for anything but a genuine passion and love of Dungeons & Dragons, a desire to protect it, a desire to promote it, and to, to make sure it continues to go forward, no matter who its guardian is. Every single word of that is my humble opinion. What's important is when I get to hear your humble opinion, when you get in the comments and send your traffic. Please consider liking, subscribing, and have a wonderful millennium.